So I just got back from shopping and the shops were interesting. There was a lot more stuff on the shelves than when I went shopping last week. Yeah, you still can't find toilet paper or flour or yeast anywhere. Um, I don't really care about the toilet paper, it'll be fine. But I did really want some yeast because I wanted to make our own bread. And there was still no oats, so I'm so glad that this order came today. Like when the shelves started emptying, I put in an order for some bulk. I got oats, olive oil and felt flour from um, this online health food shop. I think they're called Honest to Goodness. But yeah, I'll show you this. So this big box came today. Yes, it's from Honest to Goodness Organic Food and Natural Food. Um, and this here, I can't even lift it out. But there's a 15 kilogram bag of rolled oats there, which is just what we need because we have, there are still no oats in the shops. Oh, what did you get, Willow? Can you open it? Uh, I can. Did you paint your nails today? Yes, I did a nail session. did. Do you want me to open your yowie for you? Okay. Oh, what is it? Oh, it looks like some, something that lives in the ocean. It's called a giant Australian cuttlefish. Wow, that swims in the ocean. Something else I got online um, when all the stuff started going crazy is this huge bulk box of 900 Kirkland baby wipes, which they actually sell in Costco. So, oh yeah, and they opened up this. There's, looks like the already taken a couple of packets out because the only just got home but thank you Luke it's bringing in the shopping what else came today in the mail oh okay so it's like a little bit dented isn't it so this came in the mail too this um, three litre tin of extra virgin olive oil so I got that in the mail the tin's a bit dented though you're reading that so this is another package I got in the mail today I open it up. I have made an order. I've ordered about 13 cloth nappies to start me off. I just thought, I've been thinking about cloth, doing cloth nappies for a while. I used to do it. So I got these nappy liners to put in the cloth nappies. And let's have a look at these nappies. I was just been thinking about, so the brand of these is My Little Gum Nut. I've been thinking about using cloth nappies again not only to save money but also as a preparedness thing if i and we also live a long way out of town and because we live rurally um, if we were to ever run out of nappies and couldn't get into the shops for whatever reason i thought it would be sensible to just have some cloth nappies on hand looks like i got two of the gray oh and two of this pattern that is cute. Two of these with the feathers and the arrows on them. Four. Oh, that's right. These were, I ordered two nighttime boosters that if you do want to use them overnight or if your baby's a heavy wetter, you can put in an extra booster. So, so hi Holly, what did you get in your yaoi? I don't know. I'll see if I can open yours with one hand too. It's coming, it's so exciting. Oh. Oh, you got a giant cuttlefish too. It's called a giant Australian cuttlefish. It swims in the ocean. Wow. So what else? Oh, this is my other box from Honest to Goodness. And this is a, this is a five kilogram bag of organic white spelt flour. We do lots of our own baking and you can't find flour anywhere in the shelves at the moment. Yeah, that's gonna be great. I need to start unpacking these cold stuff. Oh yes, goat milk, I got this from Coles. We are giving Cedar goat milk now and weaning him off formula now that he has turned one. I'm sort of doing a haul as I unpack these, some natural yogurt that I found at Aldi, Audi. Audi, um, yeah, some hummus. 
That's actually from Coles. I went to Coles and Audi, more hummus. And I also went to Foodland. I got some vegan cheese. All right, I'm gonna, um, I've still got all this shopping to unpack. I'm gonna unpack some stuff and then I might show you some more stuff that I got. So I'll do a bit of a disorganized haul. I'll just show you what I got as I unpack it. So from Audi, the fresh vegetables I got was a bunch of kale. I got two bags of cos lettuce. Now because of all the restrictions on groceries, um, I can probably only shop weekly now instead of fortnightly. But yeah, they had a lot of like fresh vegetables, so it's all fine. Um, you're allowed to get as many as you like. So yeah, I got lots of avocados. I got two dozen eggs. You're only allowed two dozen eggs per person. There's there was restrictions on lots of things, mushrooms. I got two of these vanilla yogurts and a bag of potatoes, two kilograms. So this is my gift to Luke, who does most of our dishes. I brought him a dishwasher. Are you excited? Yeah. We have not had a dishwasher for years, years. actually. We yeah, haven't really, know. we've been living in random rental houses that and we just haven't been able to, like that hadn't had any room for dishwasher. But this is a Bosch freestanding one. Yes. Yeah, we'll just find a place to sit it for now. Okay, so here's some like cold things that I got from Coles and Audi. Audi had no whole chickens, so I was pretty happy that when I got to Coles they had whole chickens. So. I got two whole chickens from Coles. Um, from Audi I got some cream, they only had little creams left, they didn't have big creams. The only chicken Audi had left was wings, so I got a two kilo bag of wings. Coles had peas and beans, but still I can't find cauliflower or broccoli like frozen anywhere. Their shelves are completely empty, but, but this time they had beans, last time they had no beans, so that's good that they had beans yeah I got two boxes of blueberries this is probably the most disorganized grocery haul ever but I can't be bothered to spread put it out neatly two two boxes of blueberries oh this is for Luke lemon cheesecake ice cream this is for me this was from Coles this was on sale today for seven dollars each Two dairy free, no, one sea salt caramel halo top dairy free and two peanut butter cups dairy what free. Smoked salmon. I got lots of stuff. That is a dishwasher arrow. I got some smoked salmon. That was from Coles. We're going to have that for tea tonight with some snacky stuff. Um, and this big thing of bacon was from Audi too. Oh, there's the other chicken. All right, I better put this Coles stuff away. Okay, so from Audi, do you want to see what we got from Audi, Cedar? Yes, we got two three litre bottles of milk. Yeah, oh, your hands are dirty, you've been crawling outside. Two butters. Oh, yes, vanilla yogurt. Cedar is helping me with the haul. I got a coconut yogurt. What else did we get? Cheese. Cheese, do you love cheese? Cheese. Cheese. And that is all in that bag. So I found some things for my mum that she hasn't been able to find when she goes to Woolworths. I got another baby wipes from Audi. Um, there's still no oats anywhere, but she's been wanting steel cut oats. So I found these for her. And she said that there was no red lentils anywhere last week. And I found these at Coles. So I got one bag for my mum and one bag for us of red lentils from Coles. And you're only allowed two bags of flour per person. And it's funny, I, I had um, tapioca flour and buckwheat flour on my list. And that was honestly the only flour they had left in the entire shop. Like there's no normal white flour. Um, but I actually wanted tapioca flour and buckwheat flour. So 
that was a bonus. Um, and yeah, I actually wanted coconut sugar and all the other sugars were gone. So yeah, I got coconut sugar. I got a bag of white beans. They're just a good thing to have on hand. They last like forever. And I got two packets of popcorn. That's from Coles. Um, yeah, some dried chickpeas, that's from Coles. Um, I couldn't find onion powder anywhere from Coles, so I got this. But then I went to a local food land nearby, um, and I found, yes, more bread. I wanted to make our own bread this week with my new flour. But there's no yeast anywhere, I can't find yeast, so I can't, so I had to buy extra bread. Um, oh yeah, from that little food land, I found this big bag of coconut sugar, which I hadn't been able to find anywhere else. Um, some Doritos, that's to go with our snacky sort of tea that we're going to have. This, I found this onion powder. For some reason the camera won't focus on it. There we go. I got this onion powder from the local food land. So anyway, so we've got both now. And soap, yes, no one seemed to have any soap, but I found soap at this little food land too. <laughs> they had, and so I stocked up with some soap because we were actually almost out of soap. Oh yeah, and black pepper, that is another thing. There was no, oh, Luke's gone by with a stinky nappy. <laughs> there goes a stinky nappy. There was no black pepper in Coles either, so. And then I went to that little food land and they had these whole bags of pepper. Like, that's just the pepper powder. Pepper powder. Say pepper powder ten times really fast. Pepper pepper pepper. <laughs> More white beans. Good pantry staple. Okay, what else we got? I got some um, corn flakes because we were just after a bit easier breakfast because breakfasts have been taking forever just lately. Um, and um, some more wheat bix. That's from Audi, they're from Coles. And thankfully they were like on special. Oh yes, I've been making a veggie patch um, outside. I built a wall with um, rocks and everything. And um, they um, were completely out of seedlings because everyone's gone crazy buying seedlings. Um, so I just brought some seeds because I couldn't get seedlings. I got celery, beetroot, two different types of kale to go in my veggie patch. And I just got some herbs, which I could show you. So I got these Lebanese bread from Audi. I'm planning on making pizzas with those. Tomato sauce. Cashew nuts, raw cashews, actually one of those, I got two. One is for my mum. She can't get big bags like this, I don't think, from the local Woolies that she shops at. Um, I got that for Luke. Cowboy mix. Yeah, baked beans. Every time I go to the shop, I just get a few tins of baked beans. You're only allowed two tins, I think. Two, you know, only two tins of vegetables, so I got two diced tomatoes. I just got a few biscuits for dessert tonight um, as a treat. And I was after corn thins, but they didn't have any, so I got these quinoa rice cakes. And they had onions this week. Last week I couldn't find any onions, so I was happy that the world has onions again. At least my little corner of the world. And yeah, some icing sugar. But I just got two of these granolas from uh, Audi. Um, some cucumbers, red onions, tuna. They didn't have green tea, just like normal green tea. So they had with mint, that's at Audi. Then at Coles, I found regular green tea. But yeah, we were out of some stuff like Vegemite and maple syrup. I got two of those. Um, and I got another cast of sugar for the cakes that we make. Yeah, that's my other tomatoes. And there's some little tunas. The kids like these for lunch. Um, little tomato and onion. Or basil, is it? Tunas? Oh, yes. This is to go with the dishwasher. Tissues. They had tissues, but yeah, no toilet paper. Um, I got these. I like the shampoo and body wash we use for the kids. So I got two, that one, and 
that one. They, um, Audi had soap, so I got two of these hand wash, yeah, and garbage bags and other stuff. Yeah, there's some, um, chocolate. Each night after, um, after the kids dry the dishes, they're allowed to have a chocolate. It's like a treat. Um, yes, uh, these were the only soap left in all of Audi, so I got one of those. Peanut butter, we needed peanut butter. Um, that is a tin of salmon. Um, more pepper, but peppercorns. I was after peppercorns. There is some sweet potatoes here and almond meal. I got two bags of that. Oh uh, yeah, and chuck chips for um, cookies that we make or muffins. There's white and milk and some honey. Oh, I think this fresh fresh produce was from Coles. I got half a cabbage. Um, this is a candy melon, Brussels sprouts, there's sugar snap peas. And these little tomatoes were on special. There's something else. And I think this is the last bag. This was from Coles. There's some um, rice crackers. All right, this is just the regular green tea. I found green tea. Um, this was on special, so I got two of those. More pepper, because <laughs> uh, for some reason I'm getting pepper. Um, Oh yes, this is the buckwheat flour that they had and I actually wanted buckwheat flour because I use that for my gluten-free cooking. Olive leaf extract because if you get a cold or the flu, this stuff kills it. It gets rid of it. It actually can cure you. So I took this last year during the flu season and it's really... Yes, we got new soap. Yay for soap. Um, the kid, that's what that's the like times that we're living in the kids get excited about soap and yes I took this last year and it really helped me to stay healthy especially when all the kids had bad colds and stuff so I've got that on hand just to keep it just in case we need it did you like it No, I couldn't really get the kids to eat it but I took it I said it was delicious, but no one believed me. So it doesn't taste good, but it's good for you. Um, these are on special. These chocolates are for me. Salted caramel dark. Oh, apparently I got two salted caramel dark. I don't think I meant to do that. And sea salt dark chocolate and then 70% dark. Big mayonnaise, which is for Luke. I keep telling Luke that I'm going to get around to making mayonnaise and I just can't seem to get around to it. So, in the time being, that is some mayonnaise because he loves mayonnaise and hopefully I will get around to making some of our own mayonnaise. Now that I have that olive oil there, I can make some mayo. Yeah, I got two tomato paste and for some reason I had to put my passata back because I brought two tomato paste and she asked me, would you like the passata? Would you like the tomato paste? And by that stage, I just couldn't care and so I'm just like... I'll just have the tomato paste. That is fine. And they had pineapple, which we put on our pizza. Um, I just keep stocking up on tuna because we, you know, it's just useful protein to have in the pantry and last ages. So every time I'm going going shopping, I've just been getting a few more tins of tuna just to stock up. So I did the same thing again. I got two more tunas. I've been only getting little bits at a time. I haven't been doing any enormous shopping except for this stuff, which I ordered online. It's, yeah. Um, and some vanilla essence for our baking. Yes, I think that might be everything. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and take that stuff to my mom and give their ute back, which I borrowed to pick up the dishwasher. That is the sweet sound of dishes washing. Well, Luke set up the dishwasher and it's working, which is awesome. We just ran a lot quick load with nothing in it and then now it's got some dishes in it. Yay, exciting times. The Goddards have a dishwasher again. We used to have one several years ago and we have one again. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog um, and my sort of organized crazy grocery haul but that's what groceries look like when you first get back from the supermarket 
Um, yeah, we've had a big tea and we're getting the kids to bed now. I just put Cedar to bed and then I put the puppy to bed. And now we're getting five more kids to bed. Um, yeah, nah, it's really, it's all good. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video. Bye.